Hey guys, this is me with Indigo Tarot. This is going to be the element of fire. Um, this is their feelings for you for the month of May. Um, also, guys, by the end of the month or like the first weekend in June, I'm going to be uploading the um, love readings for all signs, uh, all individual signs. So just stay tuned for that. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I hope I resonate with you all. Um, I hope you all have had a great day so far. Or I hope if it hasn't been great, I hope it turns into a great day. All right, well, you guys got one card out. This is for the element of fire. So we have Sisterhood of the Rose, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic, Teacher, The Age of Light. You've been training for this for a lifetime. Let's see what comes out. What I get from those oracle cards is usually like someone is probably viewing you as a very spiritual uh, being. Like maybe you guys are into tarot and, you know, meditation and psychic and medium and all the mediumship and all those things. Um, someone probably views you as such, you know, having like. Uh, talent when it comes to being spiritual maybe you guys you know help people out give readings yourselves um someone finds you like mystical you know which is amazing <laughs> all right element of fire aries leo sagittarius energies their current feelings for you Oops. let's see Let's see. All right, give me a second. Um, all right, well, this looks like someone that you guys have been uh, have dealt with in the past. It looks like someone who probably walked away from you. Um, we have Libra here. We have uh, Aries, and we also have fixed signs. So um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aqua, Aquarius. Those are the fixed signs. So you guys could be dealing with any one of those signs or have those signs strongly placed in your chart. Um, I see that this person is wanting to do the right thing. Um, in this card, this is the Emperor card, but this is like a young boy. Like this looks like a teenager almost in the, in the card. Like he doesn't look like, you know, like a grown man. He looks more like a very, like a young a young person maybe you guys were dealing with someone who you felt was quite immature immature and i feel like that person is trying to come out of that immature energy i feel like they 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 find you to be worth it and you know you guys possibly walked away from this person or they walked away from you thinking that the grass was greener on the other side um and they are not wanting this to be over like they want to come back and they want a new start but they do feel like you have your walls up. Um, you guys, you know, have a, a sharp sh a sword, a very sharp sword when it comes to this person. Um, you guys may feel like they they haven't changed. You know, they you probably feel like every, anything that they tell you as far as like changing or being better or not being immature, not thinking like a kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably is not true you know you guys probably feel like it's all that they say you know maybe you guys have given them chance after chance and you guys are just tired you know you guys are tired of giving them chances and now 
they they know that you know it's possibly this can possibly be done this can possibly be over because you guys are probably sick and tired of the same repetition you know the same cycles being repeated so they they and they feel that from you you know they feel like in, in this picture this justice card it's like the the lady is sitting on the tallest building she has a sword in her hand and the scale in the other one it's almost like she gives me the energy like like say what you want to say and you better hope and pray that it's the right thing you better hope and pray that whatever you have to say is the right thing to say and whatever you do follows you know what i'm saying your actions follow what you say because you guys could have been possibly dealing with someone who like you know um talk is cheap you ever heard that saying like Somebody who who always it always is like, you know, talking themselves up to be so great and so this and so that. But then when push comes to shove, that shit goes right out the window. They're not any of those things. You know what I'm saying? So you guys are possibly sick and tired of that. And at this point, you guys have that sword very high. <laughs> and you're like, listen, talk is cheap. If you're not about it, if you can't show me that you're about it, keep it pushing. You know, keep it moving because... I'm not here for that. I'm not here to waste my energy. I'm not here to waste my time. So unless you have grown man uh, type status, I don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to. gonna. Wow. I was going to clarify the world and the world with the two of wands came out. So this person is possibly waiting for that new beginning. They feel like um, this is worth salvaging. You know, you guys, your guys' relationship um, probably to them is worth, you know, everything. And they probably feel lost without you. And they want to come back because they feel like that's where they belong. They, they belong with you and you belong with them. So they just want a new start with you. Whereas you guys probably are feeling like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't think so. I think I've been doing pretty okay by myself because at least, you know, being alone... If you guys are single or possibly taking space from this person, maybe you guys are feeling happier, you know, more peaceful. All right, I'm going to clarify the emperor in reverse. What's the emperor in reverse? Let's see. You see, he wants to get out of that energy or he or she, sorry. <laughs> he or she wants to come out of that energy of, of being immature, being, you know, um, like not not being as far as like an equal you know you guys probably feel like this person is not your equal like they could be not your equal as far as like financially as far as mentally spiritually even you know maybe you guys are super spiritual and this person is still trying to catch up you know what i'm saying a lot of people have their own journey to travel and sometimes you know you could do it alongside someone but then other times when it starts breaking the peace and like, you know, the other person is, is like, listen, I, you know, I have my own journey to travel and it's very hard needing like having to do with my own journey and then seeing how, you know, you're not really putting in the effort or the needed action that it takes that's required to, you know, become, you know, uh, uh, like in order to have an evolution, you guys are not putting in the proper amount of work, you know, and that causes the other person's peace of mind to be compromise because it's like I, I cannot I could only carry my own burden you know yes I love you but like at the end of the day that's not really what what matters right now like we have to do things the right way you know what I'm saying and like if you still are stuck learning lessons and you guys haven't no my coffee guys oh man I just dropped my coffee well yeah if you guys haven't you know been able to basically um grow you know evolutionize like you guys haven't been able to go through what's needed to to be your best selves that's that's a big problem you know and you guys are just looking at this person like if you cannot if you cannot change and you can't be your best self and function from that level like i i really i'm, I'm better off just being single being by myself all right but this person really does want a new start with you um then we have for a few for the future you guys have the moon card pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently so this is just spirit you know advising you guys to listen to your intuition when it comes to this person um yes they i'm sure that they love you but also remember the things that you guys have already 
went through with this person and if you feel that that's worth it and you feel like you know they mean what they say and they are different then i guess you have nothing to lose but if your intuition is telling you otherwise please pay attention to that because you don't want to waste your time you know now let's see signs that you can be possibly dealing with we have cancer leo and let's see pisces cancer leo pisces and then on the bottom of the deck is scorpio so those are all signs that you guys can be dealing with signs that are getting ready to come in um but this looks more like somebody who you guys have already dealt with in the past so yeah that's that's what i'm thinking <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Please share with your friends, family. Um, and I would really appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 150 subscribers by the end of the month. And I need your help. So if you can please help me out. It is very much appreciated. No obligation. You know, I'm still going to post videos. It's, it's, it, it's just I'm asking for your help. Um, but I, I do appreciate and love you guys coming to view the videos. Um, I have Instagram. You guys can also join, uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, but, you know, as I said, no obligation. This is all for fun and to help you guys out on, on your path. And hopefully I resonate with you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.